Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. It is time to talk about winter weather for once instead of wind, tornadoes, and severe weather. We do have a very active winter weather pattern shaping up, but I want to caution everybody. We are not looking at significant snow or sledding or snow, anything like that. We're just talking about the potential of maybe some flurries in the Carolinas outside of the mountains, which is kind of a big deal because it's been a long time. We've gone 700 now in 14 days without measurable snow. So even seeing a trace would be a significant deal. And I posted earlier, we're supposed to get snow here, guys. I hate to tell you this. Everybody who moved here said, I moved here to get away from the snow. Well, you move to an area where it's supposed to snow a little bit <laughs> every year, just not as much as maybe where you came from. So no snow is not normal. So here's a quick look at, I'm going to turn all the warnings and watches off for a second. This is the, what we call the six to 10 day temperature outlook. And what you're seeing is there's a 90% probability of below average temperatures in the six to 10 day frame. So that's pretty, pretty significant. That means there's a very high likelihood over the next six to 10 days, we are going to see below average temperatures. So that's a real, real big chance. If we go out to eight to 14 days, the chances go down a little bit, but we're still likely going to be below average. So I had someone email me because last night I said something like, we haven't seen cold like this in many years. And someone said, well, it was cold on, you know, Christmas Eve 2022, which it was some of the coldest Christmas Eve weather we'd had in decades. But that was like a two or three day period. What I'm talking about here is not how cold it's going to be, but the duration of the cold. This could be a 10 day period of cold temperatures below average, which I had to go back and look. We have not seen a 10 day stretch of below average temperatures in the winter since February 2016. It's been a while. So the longevity of this cold is kind of what we're talking about. Now, I'll put the uh, watches and advisories back up here if they pop back up. And you can see to our west, yes, a southern snowstorm. We've got winter storm watches up to areas to our west that include Huntsville, Tupelo, Mississippi, Greenville, Memphis, Nashville, Knoxville, but not the Carolinas. Why? Because this system is going to track from here up into this direction, which is not great news for snow chances here. So let's get to the future, guys. All right, let's dive into the future cast. So we know cold air is on the way. This weekend temperatures are going to be seasonable, but there's an Arctic front heading our way that's going to bring even colder air. And yes, it's going to bring some snow to the Mid-South. So we'll go through today into tomorrow morning, 4 a.m. Sunday morning. We'll go through Sunday. We get into Sunday afternoon and you can see our southern snowstorm um, developing here and kind of moving in this direction. Now, normally when you see weather like this to our west, you get excited because you're like, oh, this continues traveling east. Uh, we're going to see snow. But the problem with this setup is it kind of drifts to the northeast. So we go into Monday morning and you can see the snow setting up to our west. Now, here's the, the reason there is some optimism, at least for snowflakes. Now, trust me, this is not going to be a big accumulating event. But the fact that we could see some overrunning or basically some moisture try to make it over the mountains, there is potential that there could be some snowflakes east of the mountains. I'm not going to get too excited. It's not going to be any impact. So you do not need bread and milk. You do not need to cancel a dang thing, all right? Don't be doing that. That's silly, okay? You just need to be prepared that you could see snowflakes fall from the sky. It's essentially white rain. Oh, look, it's a snowflake. Melts on the ground. No big deal. It might as well be rain. So don't get overly concerned with this. We do this often here in the South. We see snow fall and we freak out. The impact is important. Whether it's six inches or one inch, the impact on the roads is what's important. In this case, there's no impact, okay? So we go through Monday into Tuesday. Yeah, there's a little chance maybe of a few snowflakes. That's what we're talking about. Flurries here. We're not talking about making snowmen, sledding, on the ground, winter wonderland. Put that, put that just out of your mind right now. That is not going to happen, okay? That is not what we're going to see. So that's the first wave. Now, later in the week, as we go through the week, another system tries to move in from the south it pushes off to the east, and by the end of the week, there might be another small chance, very similar to the first one, but maybe a little bit higher chance because the moisture is closer to us. So you can see this is going into the end of the week. If I quick, quickly, this is like Wednesday into Thursday. Yeah, maybe a secondary chance there by the end of the week as that system moves through. So that's why I said the pattern is there. We've got cold air in place. And we've got some weak storm systems, none of them really cranking up to the full potential, but each one gives us at least a glancing blow potential for some wintry weather. And we can look at what I like to look at are the ensembles, right? You've seen me look at these before. So this is for Charlotte. Um, this is the, the European ensembles. And you can see the ensembles, if you don't know what they are, 
instead of running one single model run, which people on social media post everywhere, oh my gosh, look at this. That's a deterministic model. I like to run multiple simulations up to 110 and look how many actually produce snow. Think about it in sports. Like if you run a Madden simulation for a game 100 times, how many times does X team beat Y team? So we do this with weather. We run this thing 110 times. And how many times out of 110 do we get snow? Well, if you look carefully here, not every single one of these simulations had snow, but there's a pretty good chunk here on Monday into Tuesday. Now, what's the grand total? A tenth of an inch. Yeah, it's accumulating. That would actually count as a trace or a tenth. The tenth of is the lowest measurement of snow, by the way. Anything lower than a tenth of an inch is a trace. We don't measure to the nearest one hundredth of an inch. So that kind of gives you an idea of you know what we're talking about here. Um, let me change the color of this so it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. So yeah, so this is our Monday, Tuesday, and then look at mid to late week, maybe a little bit stronger signal. Now, not as many members of the simulation have snow, but the ones that are, are much higher. So when you look at the bottom of the screen here, way down here, you can see this is the mean. So this is taking all the simulations and what does the mean come out to, including the zeros, because there's a lot of zeros in there. A lot of times people go, oh, look at this one run has three inches of snow. And I go, yeah, but 50 of them have a zero. So <laughs> there's only one. That's an outlier, we call that. So what we do is with outliers, you tend to cancel them out. Like, okay, that's that's bogus. Average out all these other ones. Cancel out one of the zeros. So that's the high end. end. And then you average them out and you get about three tenths of an inch. So there are a couple of chances. So that's one very, that's a European ensembles. Let's look at the GFS ensembles. Not quite as many members, only 31. But look at the hint on Monday, Tuesday. Not very good, right? Ugh, not great. But late week, the GFS also kind of hinting at something. And again, just looking at trace amount. So the potential is there. And if I look at the GFS um, plumes, which I like to look at, kind of shows, I'm going to move this over so it's a little easier to see. Um, this shows the plumes of accumulating snow chances for Charlotte. But notice the, the legend. The top is 0.4 inches. The middle is 0.2. So the average of these is around 0.2. It's not, that's why I said, this is not some crazy big snowstorm or anything even too excited to get about, you know, to get excited about. More so just the fact that it could actually snow. So the blend of models, we take all the model guidance and we blend them together. What does it look like this week? Let me put it together here so I can see a little bit. There we go. So we'll start with the first system. You can see why there's winter storm watches off to the west because there's legit, that's legit chance of snow. I mean, that's like, as little as one to as much as six or seven inches for Tennessee. Boy, they're lucky. Um, notice for the Carolinas, maybe trace amounts to tenth of an inch. And then we go late in the week and you can see, and I'll go all the way through the next uh, week and a half. But you can see, yeah, around Charlotte, there's hints of maybe a trace to a two tenths of an inch, hickory half an inch. So again, it's not super big snow, but for us, the fact that we haven't seen any in 714 days and we saw zero last winter and zero last calendar year for the first time in recorded history it's at least a chance so pull out your memes uh from dumb and dumber so you're telling me there's a chance yes i am but i'm telling you it's a little chance it's a flurry chance right now